Is There a Cross? by Kathleen Long Bostrom, illustrated by Elena Kucherik. where I sit a very large cross and it scares me a bit I know that when Jesus was ready to die he died on a cross but I'm wondering why what did he do that was so very wrong why couldn't everyone just get along Did Jesus feel sad? Do you think he was scared? I wonder, did Jesus think nobody cared? Why did his life have to turn out this way? Could Jesus have changed it by running away? How can I manage to do my own part, to show I love Jesus with all of my heart? You're wanting to know what the cross is about. It isn't so easy to figure it out. Let's look through the Bible, for then we will see why the cross is important to you and to me. The crosses we see, both the large and the small, remind us that Christ gave his life for us all. His death on the cross was a part of the plan that God had in mind when creation began. Although we may struggle with all of our might, there's simply no way we will always do right. Jesus was willing to die for our sin. He gave up his life so that we can all win. Jesus is perfect, as good as can be. He went to the cross so that we could be free free from the power of sin and of death free to praise Jesus with every breath even though Jesus did just what God asked facing the cross was a difficult task just before Jesus was taken away he went to a garden and knelt down to pray. He said with great sadness, Dear God, help me through. You know that I'll do what you ask me to do. Jesus could face then what had to be done. He knew that God loved him, for he is God's son. He went to the cross. On Good Friday, he died. A few of his friends were right there by his side. Although it is sad that our Lord had to die, Christ rose from the dead, and that isn't a lie. Because Jesus lives, we can share in his glory, and that is the truth of the whole Easter story. The cross 
which was once such a terrible sight, now shines with the beauty of God's holy light. If you trust in Jesus and give him your best, you'll show that you love him and you will be blessed. Nothing can keep you apart from God's love. No, nothing on earth or in heaven above. Death cannot stop it. Not worry or fear. God's love is forever. So be of good chairs. The end.